we need gas bad all right i'm uh preface everything that i'm about to say with people should be able to do what they want and say what they want regardless of what other people say about them like you just shouldn't care do what you want to do um that's totally cool on the flip side of that you should be totally cool with being made fun of for the dumb shit you do i need gas though so we're gonna do go do that i'm not even gonna let it warm up because i don't want to waste gas which is really not smart but whatever i'll be honest i kind of totally forgot about making youtube videos and whatnot for a while even though that was kind of my main deal um that i wanted to do and uh, i just i don't know wasn't really super high on my list of priorities um Please get me to the gas station. It should be fine. I also had a lot of problems with my uh, with my purple panda mic. Everybody says get a purple panda mic. Purple panda mic is great. Um, I had issues with that mic. It sounded fine when it worked, but it just never really wanted to work right. Uh, it wasn't very reliable. The weird TRS to TRRS like adapter thing was shitty and sometimes it would cut out and whatever so um this mic doesn't sound as good but it was like 10 bucks and so far it's been fairly reliable and it just works right off the rip i don't have to fuck around in my settings um so yeah anywho i posted a video about mm, a little over a month ago it blew up a little bit more than I thought it would and I was basically just kind of shitting on the um, kids that are oh shit we're out of gas what the hell that's weird come on baby not happy with me you're good you're good um, well, this sucks this is stupid on my end we are like half a mile from a gas station please just get me there this is not how I wanted to start this video um I made a video kind of shitting on kids that buy a helmet and then make stupid TikToks in their room without any intention of really buying a bike. They just want to look cool and they're strap girls, which whatever, do you. But, you know, you can't really expect everybody to like you doing that. But whatever, that video blew up. I don't know what it's at. It was at like a hundred something thousand views last time I checked. And I got a fuckload of comments. I'd say a good majority of those comments were somewhat in agreement with me in that it's a stupid fucking trend um, but there was a good bit that weren't and so I've kind of been percolating on that a little bit and I can totally see the the advantages of doing something like that if you're you know you're 15 you're trying to save up for a bike here we go gas station I don't think you can expect to not really get a whole lot of hate for that because it's not like our community isn't welcoming I'd actually say we're one of the most welcoming and diverse you know communities of people out there 
you go to any sort of stunt ride any sort of sport bike ride even harley rides whatever like you'll see people um from all different walks of life just bonding over riding but when you start to try to speak on behalf of a community that you're not really a part of that's when it gets a little bit weird that's when it starts to kind of piss people off again do what you want to do you know you're you have just as much right to post a video as anybody else but what I think is a little bit silly is if you're gonna post videos and you know then whine about it when people talk shit on you for you know making just cringy videos or whatever there's also another epidemic of only fans and the rise of book talk and all that fun stuff um, same kind of deal I think you know using a sh you know showing some titties and showing some ass to gain the respect of the bike community or whatever it's a solid marketing strat I'm not gonna lie is it annoying? Um, sure. And do a lot of people hate on it? Sure. I don't really care as much because I don't mind seeing a little bit of titties and ass on my feed. Whatever. That's, <laughs> there are worse things to... Instagram serves me up people dying every day. I don't know if that's just me, but I see some wild shit on my feed and... Seeing a little booty is not the uh, end-all, be-all. It gets a little weird when you start looking at dudes <laughs> on your feed who are just, you know, the same thing. They sit in their room with a helmet that they bought for, you know, 50 bucks on Amazon and make cringy TikTok dances. I don't really know. There's not really a point to anything I'm saying. I'm just kind of elaborating on my opinions a little bit after I posted that. Um, even though this was a while back, I still think it's really prevalent. And I think a lot of people have really strong opinions about it, but nobody really talks about it other than in the comment sections. Because it's not really that big of a deal. It's kind of whatever. Um, you're not hurting anybody. So, again feel free to do what you want to do but except that people are gonna clown on you a little bit <coughs> I've been caught by the Nick I gotta stop smoking I got a chini in right now I'm feeling great it's it's a bit chilly it's like 40 something degrees outside but I don't know I wanted to go ride I haven't ro rode much lately it is a little bit weird to um, just kind of see what the bike community has turned into over the past, I don't know, year or two. I remember seeing all these cool videos on my feed of, you know, stupid cool photography and dudes doing absolutely crazy, very um, progressive tricks, I guess you could say. Um, trying to better the sport especially in uh, areas like bike life and stunt riding and a lot of that has kind of gone away it's not like it isn't there um, you know maybe my algorithm is just tailored to me and moto vlogging as a as a genre of video has kind of died off a lot in recent years there, you just don't see a whole lot of motor vloggers being, you know, super dialed and super consistent with it anymore because it's just not a very viable form of uh, content, I guess you could say. I don't know. It was a big spike on uh, on YouTube in motor vlogging and dirt bikes and and even cars, and it's just not as big of a thing anymore. But. 
on places like Instagram and TikTok, it's very easy to thirst trap motherfuckers and feed off that dopamine and those likes and shit. What I think we can collectively agree on is people who buy a helmet and then make, you know, I'm gonna make motorcycle related content and have uh, no interest in really purchasing a motorcycle. They just want likes um, and they wanna get famous off of a helmet. I think that's stupid. I think most people think that's stupid. But again, do what you wanna do. I might catch some heat for this video. I don't really care. Um, it's just my opinions. And I could be totally wrong on a lot of things. That's more than uh, uh, more than just a possibility. Oh shit! Light turned red. I thought we were gonna make that. I guess in terms of actual bike life, it's kind of in a weird place right now. Outside of like social media, I mean, even though that's a, that's a huge part, it's like people are kind of just doing it just to get clicks. Which I, you know I. I'm not going to say I'm not guilty of that because it is certainly addicting when you post a video that took you 30 seconds to make and you get all this social validation from it. It's very easy to keep falling into that trap. Um, you, you just feel like you matter. You get some social proof, you get some dopamine, whatever. I don't know. I know in, in Denver, I really haven't... I moved away from Denver. I live in Fort Collins now, but back in Denver the scene was kind of in a weird spot when I moved away everybody had beef with everybody and there was a lot of drama and whatever um, and I don't really get it I think we should all learn to I mean we're all doing this for the same reason because we love it you know think people should be hating on each other especially in in something like a stunt ride where you're or even just any sort of group ride where you're doing dumb shit why are you hating on each other you guys are already putting yourselves in a in a not so great position where you're doing shit you shouldn't be doing and then you're gonna make it more dangerous by bringing in fucking guns and shit to a ride because you got beef with so-and-so. It's stupid. Why is nobody on the inner left lane? What's going on here? No, I'll just chill here. It's stupid. I think we should just kind of enjoy what we're, what we're doing. Enjoy riding. You also see a lot of dudes that go to group rides or stunt rides that are doing shit that they shouldn't be doing and of course like I'm not gonna pretend I'm a saint I've done shit that I shouldn't have been doing or I wasn't paying attention when I should have been paying attention or whatever um, but when you continuously like make those mistakes and you don't learn from those oh shit moments where you're in a pack of you know 50 or 100 dudes and you don't know how to wheelie or you don't know how to do this or you're going way too fast for the ride like you're, you're not just putting you in danger. You know, in most cases, if you're on the highway, you're kind of by yourself and you want to click out 150, 200, cool. If, if you're in a group ride and the top speed of the dude in front doing a wheelie is going maybe 35 miles an hour, why are you going 70? It's stupid. And if you don't know how to wheelie, like, oh, hello. If you don't know how to wheelie, like, don't be the dude that learns on a group ride. That's not what that's for. You go practice that in a lot. Go practice that somewhere else. Don't bring that into an environment where you're going to hurt other people as well as yourself.
this ain't a cop. We are gonna get some espresso. I need some rocket fuel in my life. I don't know. I'm kind of just yapping at this point. That's what most of this video is. So if you don't want to hear no yap, then whatever. But I like her boots. She got cool, sh cool shoes. <laughs> All right, let's get some coffee. Got my wallet. Cafe Bustolo acquired. Anyways, though, I don't know. I might try to do this a little bit more because I'm kind of tired of fucking grinding out short form and not really getting anywhere and not really producing much of substance, I guess. I don't know. I'll still make short form reels and stuff, but I kind of want to do something a little bit more than that. And this might be what that entails so again I don't know I didn't really plan out much as far as what I wanted to talk about if you're not already following the gram go do that I post cool pictures cool videos and fun stuff like that and yeah I don't know I'll be making some more stuff on here so with that being said um I sign out. Peace.